Yo, what's up, guys? Got a review on these uh, these Markwell markers. Um, I'm pretty sure there's only one place you can get them, and like that's the only place I've seen them really is BombingScience.com. And uh, I don't know. I think they're pretty sick markers. Like I got two pinks and a gold. Um, by no means is this an unboxing or nothing like that, because I use this stuff a lot. Um, the two pinks are actually different. One's, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but one's a bit darker, and then one's more vibrant. Um, a lot of people have been saying that these markers wipe off easily, uh, turn white in the sun, fade, anything like that. Um, I don't think so at all. I don't think they wash off a lot easy either, actually. Um, if they dry, once they're dry, then they're going to be on there for a while. Um, they're pretty opaque, like actually very opaque. Um, they're paint, like they're very, very thick, thick paint. Um, the nib, I think this one, it's about an inch. Uh, let me get a lid off for you. Oh, no, it's probably about a half inch, actually. About a half inch. I live in Canada, so I don't go by inches, but it's about a half inch nib. Um, they write really nice. You just got to shake them, and then you just push them to... Push them to juice it up a bit. You just dab them, and then they're juiced. And then once you get it juiced, um, like very opaque lines. This is going over yellow paint. Um, like we'll see, black, blue, and like anything you want, silver, red, whatever, goes over it. Not too bad. Um, the line's not that like, it's writable if you know what I mean. Like. Like, it'll write nice, but sometimes it streaks. This one's kind of running out. Just get the paint flowing in it a bit more. But, yeah, you'll see what I mean. Like, um, don't do it too much because these things do. I don't know if you see that, but um, they tend to get, like, a little bubbly. I don't even know. But, yeah. So, yeah, this is a review on the Markwell Markers. Yeah, pretty uh pretty opaque. Not bad.